Come on over here, pal. We'll be in the car, Brian. We are pals, aren't we? Yeah. So what's the problem? It's that Spencer guy, isn't it? Well, let me tell you a little story about a guy who had the same problem you did. A guy named Gordon. Who's he? Someone I grew up with on Melmac. Nice kid. Handsome, intelligent, great athlete, wonderful sense of humor. Ha! It was you, wasn't it? How'd you guess? <laughs> anyway, I was doing a little dinner... Your name's really Gordon? Yeah, Gordon. <laughs> That's funny. It was my mother's maiden name, all right? Sorry. Anyway, back on Melmac, I was in a little dinner theater production of Man of La Mancha. I was playing Sancho Panza. It was opening night. There was a full house. I was about to sing my first number when suddenly I froze. I was like this. <laughs> yeah. Your name is really Gordon? Just go with me on this, okay? <laughs> I'm up there. I'm frozen. I can't remember my opening number. The audience was getting hostile. They were ready to start throwing breadsticks at me. When the guy who played Don Quixote pulled me aside and gave me this good luck charm. A tooth? Yeah. His 124-year molar. Did it bring you good luck? Ha! Huh, you bet. I got through my song, plus the impossible dream, and every other song in the show. For an encore, I even did a couple of numbers from Gypsy. <laughs> yeah. But will it work on asparagus songs? No problem. Don Quixote says the tooth works on vegetables, too. <laughs> Look, just stick that in your back pocket, and you'll go out there and knock them dead. Great, I will. Thanks, Gordon. <laughs> Don't worry, kid. You'll be swell. Oh, no. Brian! Hello? Jackrabbit delivery service? Yeah, I'm looking at your ad in the yellow pages. How would you feel about delivering a tooth to an asparagus? Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes, indeed. Let's hear it for the two garlics. Now we'll take a short break while we air out the stage. <laughs> hey, guys. Come on. Come on. We follow the garlics. It's gone. What, what's gone? My lucky tooth. I can't go out there. Whoa, 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 whoa. What lucky tooth? The one that Alf gave me for courage. Next on our entertainment menu, a treat from our friends in the vegetable family, I give you the asparagus. All right, Spencer. I want you to go out there. I want you to do those jokes. Oh, boy. My big break. Okay, Brian, I'm just, um, I'm, I'm trying to understand about this tooth business. Hello? Uh, listen, I need a cab here as soon as possible. Yeah, uh, 167 Hemdale. It's an unassuming house that needs a paint job. Uh-huh. Uh, you'll be going to the Franklin Elementary School. How many passengers? None. Just a tooth. <laughs> office with the duck on his head. The principal says, my gosh, how did this happen? The duck says, I don't know. It started as a growth on my foot. What's wrong? It wasn't funny. <laughs> no. I mean, where's Brian? Why isn't he up there? What is this? An audience or an oil painting? Brian, no matter how special Don Quixote's tooth may be, you can't count on something like that to give you courage. Why not? Because courage doesn't come from some thing. Courage comes from inside, from, from in you. If you can sing with a lucky charm, you can sing without one. My teacher's so old, her social security numbers and Roman numerals. But what if I mess up, Dad? No, you won't mess up, son. And, and even if you do, it doesn't matter. The important thing is that you go out there and give it your best shot. 
May your daughters marry substitute teachers. <laughs> but what about Spencer? What about me? I just bought the meat session hates me. No, they don't hate you, Spencer. I think they just don't understand comedy. Spencer, you're crying. No, I'm not. I was standing too close to the onions. <laughs> I'm going to introduce a vegetable out there. Now, is it going to be green or red? Well, what's it going to be, guys? I'm not going. You aren't? No. I'm scared. You are? Yeah. I don't think I can even remember the words of song. Well, you say asparagus are long and green and good for you to eat. And I say will make your body strong and lean. Our flavor can't be beat. Ah, right, Dad. All right. I think you better introduce the asparagus. guys. Where are they? I don't know. But I'm going back there. Okay, here we go. Sit down, lady. <laughs> and now, at long last, the asparagus. guys. Bye-bye travel? Uh, yeah. Yeah, when's your next flight to Hawaii? <laughs> oh, oh, perfect. Good. Uh, listen, on the way to the islands, you think we could stop at the Franklin Elementary School? Hello? <laughs> Hello? It's up to me. Yeah. Oh, I know, that was so hey, Alf. Uh, Alf, what are you doing in that costume? Uh, uh, uh my uncle died. Alf, I did it. I sang my song. You did? Without the lucky two. He was great. He was the best vegetable up there. <laughs> yeah, you see, courage doesn't come from a tooth. It comes from in here. That's close enough. But thanks, anyway. Yeah, come on, Brian. Come on, let's get ready for bed. Asparagus, asparagus. Brian, we were great. <laughs> well, uh, I'm glad the kid did so well. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll go change. It's getting hot in here. Ow! <laughs> yes! I don't think your uncle really died, did he? Then who did we bury? I think that you were going to sneak out and uh, bring Brian that tooth, weren't you? I wasn't going to sneak. I was going to hotwire a car. <laughs> Whatever. You were very concerned about Brian. I think... I think that was very sweet. You, uh... You want to hug me, don't you? Maybe we could start with a handshake. Deal. <laughs> 